Well, very simply, in order to get a good night's sleep, we need to lose about one degree of body temperature. Uh, and usually that's not a problem because our bedrooms are relatively cool. Uh, our head and face, where we lose our heat from, uh, find it very, very easy to, to lose that heat. Uh, if the temperature goes too high, we find it almost impossible to lose that body temperature, which causes our sleep to be disturbed. And then we wake up uh, in the night and then we find it very difficult to go back to sleep because we feel terribly uncomfortable uh, tossing and turning in the heat uh, and, and getting ever more wound up because we're not falling back to sleep. And what sort of impact is that lost sleep going to have? Because it's not just one night, you might have two nights in this heat wave, and if this is going to happen more often, we could end up losing more sleep. So what sort of impact is that going to have long term? Well, as somebody said on the video uh, earlier uh, about uh, feeling irritable, uh, losing sleep makes us feel more irritable, uh, more miserable, uh, more up for an argument, less empathetic with people. It also affects our, our performance, our ability to make decisions, problem solve, our reaction times are affected and increases the risk of, of accidents, whether they're in the workplace, at the home or in a car. So uh, even just a small amount of, of uh, sleep loss can actually have a significant effect on the way we feel and perform the next day. So what do we do about it? Is it just down to individual action and taking practical measures or do we need more of a strategy here? Well, the problem is, of course, uh, houses in the UK are not built for hot weather and neither are they actually built for cold weather. Uh, you know, we're a temperate climate and so our houses do a pretty good job most of the year. But when it's hot, we don't have air con, uh, we don't build for shade. Um, and we don't have shutters on our windows to block out the sun. So unfortunately for tonight, it's a bit too late uh, to do uh, the most important thing, which is to stop your house from heating up. Uh, so keep your windows, uh, uh, windows closed if they're on the sunny side of the house, keep your blinds and curtains closed. But for tonight, it's about trying to cool yourself down. Don't try and cool the the uh, whole house down because that won't work, but cooling yourself down. So as somebody said earlier, using a fan, a, a desk fan to blow air across you. If that's not working, stick a, a pack of frozen peas in front of it so the air is even cooler. Wear uh, natural fibers to wick away the moisture. A lot of people might think that sleeping naked is appropriate in this weather, but actually if the sweat stays on the skin, that actually shuts down our cooling mechanism. So you need to wick away the moisture so cotton or bamboo or silk to wick away the moisture and then the uh, hopefully the air moving from a fan that would evaporate that uh, don't eat too late don't drink too much uh, and just be very very still uh, lie in bed and and don't move don't toss and turn and just be very still and and hopefully sleep will come I'm trying to stay very still in the studio here. And the thing is, when you're tossing and turning at night and you can't sleep, the last thing you want to think about is the stress and the impact this is going to have on you if you don't get enough sleep, because that makes it so much worse. So what do you do in that situation? Well, I mean, the, the advice is, uh, that's been around for years is if you're not sleeping and you are getting uncomfortable, then, then get up and go to another room. And in this heat, perhaps go downstairs where it's going to be much, much cooler. And then do something relaxing. Um, and then when you feel sleepy again, go back to sleep. Or if you can't do that, then practice something called thought blocking, where you're not worrying about the cares and worries of the day. Subtract seven from a thousand repeatedly. Go through the alphabet, listing animals beginning with each letter of the alphabet my favorite okay. one from years ago is list alphabetically all the operas you've seen okay dr neil stanley thank you very much for joining us sweet dreams tonight